Hey guys, Mark from We Travel Alone. So some of you may have seen last week on our socials that we're in Melbourne doing a three-day marketing course. Uh, I'm not quite sure whether it was much use to us. It cost us a lot of money to do it. Um, so it was sort of disappointing for us. We went to like an introduction on this course in Melbourne a few months ago at the Australian Social Media Marketing Summit or something that it was. So, you know, they talked a big game, talked it all up. So actually during the break of this event in Melbourne a few months ago, we went and spoke to the guy running it and we asked him specifically whether he thought that it was worth it for our business, considering he was sort of marketing at businesses that had um, like a product to sell or a store or, you know, had some sort of presence online where they had a physical product. Well, we obviously don't have a physical product. Uh, we're a site that sells recommendations, basically. So, you know, we write articles, we recommend you go here, you go there, you stay here, you do this activity, things like that. So we're like, um, you know, do you think uh, this is worth it or this will roll over to our type of business? And they're like, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, for sure. So we signed up and handed over <laughs> a decent sum of money that was in the thousands to go to this uh, three-day event that was at the Pullman in Melbourne. Um, I won't go into who it was and what it was too deeply because... Uh, I don't know whether that will offend or could even actually get me in trouble. So, um, so I won't. But so we went to this three day event. First day was all about um, marketing, which was quite good. I actually, found the first day pretty good. It was about marketing concepts and hooks and titles and things like that to to draw people in, which was quite good. And I can use some of that. The second day was all about building sales funnels, um, which might come in handy in the future if we actually build a Shopify store and and try and sell something, sell products via drop shipping, which is something that we've been throwing around in our mind for a while now, but haven't actually crossed the line on signing up for a Shopify store because, you know, I want to sell, if we do, products that are related to possibly travel, so things that we can then make our own TikToks for and make our own videos about to help push these things along. But a lot of travel products that I would be looking at selling uh, sort of gadgets that you can use on planes to make flying easier, basically. Um, that's a brand we were talking about launching called Make Flying Easier, but or Make Flying Simple, or you know, Make Flying Better, something like that anyway. Um, but a lot of these products are really cheap, you know, $20, $30 to buy. So the commission rate off these products that you could buy is probably really low. So you'd have to actually sell quite a lot of these to actually make some money. Um, but who knows? That's something for the future anyway. So they taught us how to build sales funnels, uh, which was quite good. But you had to sign up to ClickFunnels. Now, ClickFunnels at a minimum is $97 US a month to sign up to. So if you're not making a lot of funnels and you don't have the advertising budget, which they're recommending, you know, you launch a few funnels at, at realistically $30 a day minimum on Facebook, but preferably $100 a day on Facebook, which is fine for some people but for bloggers it probably doesn't suit us and especially with the fact that um our income is sort of in free fall with what google's done in the last 12 months uh i'm estimating next month uh income will be down nearly 80 percent on 12 months ago so that certainly doesn't help us fund them sort of advertising campaigns that these guys were talking about so day three of this event was a bit about facebook marketing and things like that it was interesting. So learn how to build ads, which was okay. But a lot of it was also about on selling their marketing business. You know, some people were signing up for, you know, $30,000 a month in, in advertising and stuff that these guys would actually create for them. But then you still had to spend the money on top of that. So, so a lot of it was really out of our element. And we sort of left feeling, I would say, really disappointed in it, which leads to my next question. Or not my next question, but my next thought. Um... It's no wonder that bloggers in general feel, I guess, guarded or uh, feel like they're being conned with the amount of courses that you see online being offered by other bloggers because there's one thing that is for sure in blogging. No one actually has the answer of how to succeed. Like, for someone may succeed, the next person might do the same thing and not succeed. So there's just so many variables that go on in blogging and how Google ranks you and, you know success on Pinterest and Facebook and different programs like that, that no one can actually uh, replicate a tried and true formula for you to succeed. So for us going forward, we hadn't 
paid for a course in a long time um, because of this. Uh, we sort of got sucked in in the hype that they were speaking about when we first went to this conference, this event, this one-day event that they held, which made us shell out the money for the three-day event. So in the end, basically, uh, become a tax write-off for us. We spent three nights in Melbourne at a nice Airbnb, and, uh, and that was about it. So I won't be rushing back to do any more dear courses that promise the world but possibly deliver very little and there's a lot of them in the blogging world so any bloggers out there just be wary of what people are offering because no one can guarantee that you'll have success and a lot of the stuff that people are selling online uh, you can easily find on YouTube so just be wary of what you're doing and how you're going anyway that's a wrap from us here at We Travel Alone this week don't forget to log on to our website publish the new article this week on the differences between or should you stay at airbnb or a hotel so that's another one to check out our facebook's our tiktoks and we look forward to seeing you on the next video bye for now